Hello and welcome back to an updated version on how to add music to your CDs and radios November 2021 so the last tutorial there was a few problems everyone was having it wasn't working and all that yada 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 so hopefully this one will um, get you guys having your music on blaring in your cars on a one take all right so first things first you need to get yourself a program to convert your mp3 music files to OGG now I use Audacity, you can use whatever really, anything that can convert, you can even do it online. So all you do is just download it, right there, uh, latest version. And then once you've downloaded it, obviously you just click on it, run the um, install setup and you're good to go. You're not stupid, you should know how to do that. Once you've done that, <coughs> you will then launch Audacity. Don't show this again. And then all you gotta do is just add your music files. I'm gonna add, be adding my own music this time. That's the last time we got in trouble. And then just check it's the right songs for yourselves. Once you're happy with that, all you gotta do is export the file .ogg. Uh, we're gonna, we've made a file in I can't remember what it was, I think it's libraries, and then music, and then my summer car, doesn't matter. And then what you got to do is, rename it to track one. That's your first one, yeah, so once you save that, press OK. Let that do its thing. And then we will go and do another one, and exit the other one, you don't need to save it, and we'll go dub track. And then once you're happy that's the song, you just go export, OGG, and then this one will be track two. Yeah, and so on. So I think you can have up to 10 songs on each CD. You can have three CDs. And I think it's the same on the radio. You can have up to 10 on the radio. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. So once you've done that, we'll add one more. Just so you know exactly what you're doing. Once you've added that, same again. Export, OGG, track number three. Yeah, track three. No spaces, no capitals. Once that's done, push OK. And then you can exit that, you don't need to save them because OGG is a shit format. And then once you've got your stuff, go to wherever you made the folder and then just copy them. And then you need to go to your My Summer Car Steam installation folder, yeah? So my one is in main, then you're looking for Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then just look for My Summer Car, which is there. And then here you have it, CD1, CD2, CD3, and Radio. So we'll add them to CD1, paste, and that's that process done, and now we can launch the game. Once launched and you're on the menu, you want to click this little thing down here, Import Music Files, which is what you've added to your CDs and radio. And then once that's done, just click Continue and load into your game. Once loaded in, you will then see your... CD over here on the desk, but I need to quickly install my CD player. So if we quickly do that, and then I'll show you it all working. So if you've got your old one in there, all you need to do is grab yourself a size 10, undo these two bolts here, one, two, and then disconnect the dash, turn it around, disconnect the stereo, we'll move that there for a minute, and then put this back on, and then just do it back up. Everything else is all done, all uh, the subwoofers in it, and the amps are all good to go. So now we can grab our CD player. There we go. Once that's installed, installed, all you got to do is go grab your CD player. I mean your CD. Do grab it. There we go. And then we take it in. Sometimes it won't go in. The CD won't go in the CD player unless it's turned on. So just be mindful of that. So if we close this now, then open this. Would it go in? Yep, yeah, it go in. But if it doesn't, just turn the engine on, power it up, and you're good to go. So let's see if it works. Right, so there you go. Track one's working. Put these windows down. Throw this out, don't need this no more. 
doesn't sound too bad either. Obviously, you are going to take quite a bit of a quality loss because you are changing them from MP3 to OGG, which is a shit format. So then, if you want to change your track, just go next. I think I don't think you can go previous either. But that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how you add your own music to my summer car. So hopefully you won't have any more issues when you do this yourself. But in if the, the unfortunate case happens, do let us know down in the comments below and I'm sure me or someone else will do our best to try and help you. All right, so I hope this helps you out. Thank you for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one.